How about we take the bridge to cross the railroad? It would save us a detour. Damn, too high. Hey, Artyom, help me get up there. You should have checked first, assholes. Artyom, thank God. These people, they're Hansa, not the Order. Assholes. They did a number on you. Well, Dad will rip them a new one for that. What's going on in this Moscow of yours, anyways? Of yours? You're putting this like you're not from here. We aren't. Our village is about 200 kilometers from here. What village? You're not from Moscow? Just a regular village. We came here to find the boy's father. Left for Moscow about a year ago and never came back. But then we got caught by this here. You mean there's life outside? Why wouldn't there be any? Sure, there are lots of bad places and lots of beasts around, but we still get by. Artyom, you were right. People really do live out there. We didn't know. We thought we were the only survivors. God, we'll tell the whole metro about this. The heck and the boy out! Hey, you people drove us halfway to nowhere. They can handle it. At least give them their masks back.
Attention! The turntable is switching off! Shut up. Now listen, if you come out of here, we won't accept this shit again. Okay? Animals. How can they? What can I do? The mutant? The watchman! A human? How did you? Oh. oh my God! It's you. She's been screaming about alive. You came for her. All right. I'll help. Finally, I'll be of some use. Okay, they took the girl to the base chief for interrogation. I can't take you to the main entrance, too many guards, but we may sneak in from the back. Let's go. Don't trash though. If they notice you, we're both done for. Wait. You'd better not walk into the light. Let's do it this way. You sneak to the lighting panel and disable it while I distract them. that ladder? Try sneaking to it now. Stay close to the wall. Your mark, is that you? What are you mumbling? Come here and help me fix this. Yes, sir. Got me already. Come on, come on. Fixing this should be nothing for you. Jacket, huh? Distracting him. Look, there's some garbage around. Throw some. Great. Now 
destroyed. I hope the noise distracts him. Well done. Sitting there. We must get out before they recover. Get ready, people. Guards! You have to go sneak through the courtyard. Take the door the guards are coming through. Moving. Here, quick! Let's go. All unauthorized Who are you? Andre Valerich Yermak, the train engineer. Run now! Just get to that hangar, then God willing, I'll get you out of here. They know me, so I'll get there easily. Why are you helping us, Andrei Ivanovich? I had... Uh, ah, I guess I'll tell you later. I hope. Hey guys, Be careful. What's going on? Hey. Hey. Artyom, I see the enemy. <sighs> Give me a boost. Can't really see well with the snowstorm. Don't forget your visibility gauge, Atyon. If you don't move too fast and don't come out into the light, you'll be harder for them to notice. Don't turn your flashlight on either, they could notice. Atyon, incoming two of them. I'll give you some cover from above. Something else. 
Am I glad to see you here? Are you alright? I'm fine, thank you. Alright. We don't have much time. We'll be back. I'll go to the engine. It should be ready now. You go up there and Come switch on, the Jim. turntable mechanism on. together.
forces, over. Roger that, base, over. All right, shoot these two. And as for the engineer... Oh, what do you mean, shoot these two? Is don't this the you dare give me a soldier soldiers here. The colonel will give you a piece of his mind now. Colonel, sir, we have a situation here. Honor. Dad! Guys! It's us! Help us! What the hell? Hurt you! What are you doing here? Talk about surprise! Well, this will mean court martial for all of you. All right, everyone, shut up! I can't believe this. Just can't believe this. Shit! So this is true? You are working for them? The bastards shot our team! Be quiet! They... How did you end up here? Uh, it doesn't matter. You have no idea what you just stuck your heads in. We've no moves left. Hans, I can't take this line. No, oh, shit, the water is left. No, I won't be quiet. What is this jammer for? Why are they hiding the fact that Moscow didn't survive alone? There, what is in the ravine, about, there are sir? people from other, other cities, force. dead. All Everyone of them, women, up. children. I'll tell you all later. Gramps, what's going on out there? Down this road. The road is fine, at least until a hundred click mark. Is there a safe place to stop nearby? Of course. We have to make haste, though. They called the cruiser. All right, gentlemen. Artyom and Anna have just made a huge mess, and I can't go back to Moscow now. The wartime legislation dictates they'd be killed. In any case, I have to get them out of town until it all blows over. But you all should stay. Hear me, Major? My people are in no way related it's to this misunderstanding. It's not my this call, and you're not. Misunderstanding. Well, I'll jam. fight for the guys no matter what. Of course. Artyom, Anna, they are the with us. The no one behind. It's it's not not the 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 All right, Spartans. Throw these overboard and full steam ahead. Come with me, Artyom. Let's catch them there. I'm so glad the boys supported us. It looks like my father didn't say a word to them about this either. We spent 20 years in Metro, thinking the rest of the world was burnt to a crisp in the war. But they just circled Moscow with those jammers, and we were none the wiser. How perfect of them! While you were getting irradiated on the surface, my father just kept lying! Lying to you, to me, to everyone, the whole fucking world, and not even batting an eye! Are you fucking kidding me? 
be a traitor? You tell me, where are you taking that train, huh? On a simple joyride? No, I see only one answer. You've been fought and you're running back to your master. So the verdict has already been passed. We won't even see a trial. Cut that shit out. What are you carrying, man? Defense plan? You want to buy yourself a seaside retirement with a life, you damn cripple? Glad. Treason. We have served you people without question for years. We have spilled our blood for the cause. You sold out. They destroyed us and you? I have been a soldier my whole life. Oh! I have dedicated my life to my people, my country. But I'll be damned if I give it to parasites like you. We stopped a hundred clicks from Moscow to check our Geiger counters. The thing is, they are all in the green, as if they're in a conspiracy. Still, this amazing piece of news doesn't really impress anyone that much. The guys are all confused as to what to do next. And I... I'm just waiting for answers. And hoping the commander, whom until recently I trusted implicitly, is going to be extremely persuasive in his reasoning. Why the wrong face? We are at a crossroads, so to speak, where everybody can help but wonder. What next? Where do we go from here? Hmm, yes. More or less what I expected from you. But you got the picture. 
So, is your counter functioning? Have you checked it? Yes, it's all green. Double checked it. Stepan's in the green too. We don't need masks here. So, they were telling the truth. Who was telling the truth? Why won't you answer? Who were those people trying to kill us? Why would they shoot at you, the Order's commander? Explain something, at least! You owe us that! Well, I might as well drop the bomb now. The war did not end. What do you uh, mean, what? did not end? Let me finish. Most of our cities are destroyed. The rest of the country is probably under enemy occupation. To avoid new nuclear attacks against us, command chose the only viable course of action. To play dead. To ensure radio silence, the shield system was created. A network of radio jammers covering Moscow and suburbs. So that some radio enthusiasts wouldn't bring more bombs down on our heads by whining on air. And it's one of these jammers that got disabled by the hands of those present here. Could you not have shared that before? Say, uh, before Artyom took that radio outside and caught all that radiation? No! I only got briefed half a year ago. Under a strict, you talk, you die policy. And then had to tell my people we were securing a weather station. Sir, with all due respect, if we can't go back, maybe we should advance and move on? I have an idea, but... Artyom, rather than carrying on with this silent disapproval of yours, check the airwaves. We should be out of the jamming range by now, so give it your best try. Look for transmissions from the Ark. <sighs> Do you understand now why we are traitors in the eyes of command? We shut down a jamming station, shot up the guards, destroyed a patrol train, and ran away from Moscow. Who even needs a trial when the case is so clear? There's no way back now. Which means we have to continue moving forward. Command, what are you talking about? The Moscow Defense Command. Wait a moment, what was that? Listen, everyone! So, is this what you had in mind? Yes, this is it. The Ark Project is a whole city underground. Enormous stores, machines, the best experts. It is the Commander General's HQ. All of the country's leaders are there. They have already started the restoration work. We will tell them that Moscow is alive. It wasn't all for nothing. Everything will change. Everything. Do you get it? A new life is starting for all the survivors of the world. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, by the way, are there any single women in that place? <laughs> Great reaction. So I think the moment calls for... <clears throat> Bring it out, Demir. Bring what out, Colonel? Sir. That thing that's been sloshing about in your canteen. <laughs> Do you think I'm deaf or what? Ah, that. Uh, just a moment. I, I thought my ears were deceiving me. <laughs> 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 it's not a short trip to the Urals, so we should make ourselves comfortable, I guess. Let's name this bucket of bolts at the very least, eh? It's about time. Let's go around and be done with it. <laughs> nah, go to hell. Ah. <laughs> Even better. <laughs> oh, come How on. How about Aurora, the Roman goddess of dawn and a cruiser of, uh, uh, you know what? That's better. <laughs> Not bad. I like it. Ah, beautiful name. Sounds okay, but the cruiser of what? Yeah, I'll tell you later. Looks like it's decided. <laughs> Let's trick <laughs> you! Hey, Artyom, let's take a look at that map. All right, we had a round. That should be enough. You're back. 
Full steam ahead! Hi! Full steam ahead! Wow, that's some I guess. distance. I wonder how long it will take. How are you, Alyosha? Oh, Anna. I was expecting an arrow from a kitten, but I got a bullet from an ugly motherfucker instead. <laughs> <laughs> you sure you're okay? Because I know you. Yes, sir. Can you feel how sweet the air is without a mask? Or not just sweet, so many shades of taste it has. A weird feeling, eh, my friend? I remember you telling me how you took your mask off atop a stunky notar. When you honed those missiles in on the dark ones, was the air bitter then? Who knows, though? Had you not launched those missiles, you'd probably never have climbed that building or received that signal. Life is weird, huh? One random event drags another with it, like links in a chain. And you are pulling that chain out of a deep, dark well. The links emerge from the dark water. And what link is in that bucket that's on the end of the chain? That's a mystery. for because of you. We all remember the way you fought back in D6, so no matter what lies ahead, we're with you. You can count on us. Yeah, yes. As for me, I'm running a little inventory check. Yeah, it is kind of cramped in here. Yeah, I'm thinking of making something of a workbench. So that's all the instruments we get, and everything else would be within arm's reach. With no workbench, you just lose small components. We'll use this place to work on the weapons, cleaning, oiling, keep out of everybody's way, and keep them from messing with my stuff. And well, we'll have to take turns, of course, but we'll manage. So, if you find any weapons you like to keep, I'll store them for you here on the Aurora, and you can come back to exchange them. You'll get them back in their best shape ever, don't you doubt. Ah, boy, have I cleaned and oiled a lot of weapons in my life. Hmm, factory, and homemade too. Some of those were just amazing, so unusual. So, if you have any weapon-related questions, I'm your man. And weapons, they are like girls. They need attention. You clean your weapon well, you oil it, you check the ammo, because these dirty ammo caps do get rusty sometimes. But if you put your heart into it, the weapon never fails. Ah, well... I'll just finish oiling this one, then start on another. Well, hello there, Tom. You people could have called me out there to drink to Aurora. I still think Beelzebub was a better name. <laughs> Go 
Because frankly speaking, I'm a bit tired here. The only good thing about this job is that you forget it's the winter. <laughs> if only you didn't have to pay for this comfort later. With your whole body aching. I heard that monotonous labor calms you. Well, it's not a lie. I do feel this calm, you see. It's what says it's a dynamic meditation. That philosopher doesn't come here to meditate too often, though. observers. I was proud to be helping those. Then, about two months ago, they loaded a bunch of people onto my Aurora. The guards took them outside and came back alone. Told me they took the people to a nearby station, but I knew it had gave them years ago. A few days later, I was coming back from a run, stopped the train, went and found those people. Soon they understood I saw that ravine. Fed me the usual lies about the spies and whatnot. Did you believe them? Well, it sure seems safer to believe. But then, I just couldn't keep the charade up. Then the security officer told me straight, whoever you speak to dies. The whole station dies with him, if need be. So, that's how it went. But when I saw you, and then Artyom, I knew I wasn't alone anymore. You can't just keep these things in. Now I understand why you helped us back then. Thank you. Don't mention it. God willing, it won't end up being done in vain. Yes. Have you ever taken a train beyond city borders? No. Didn't get a chance to go. I used to be a metro train engineer. I worked on the ring line. Ha! What a bore that was. Going round and round all day, round and round. And no real distance either. It used to take less than 30 minutes to make the lap. So I kept dreaming about how good it would be to just leave the metro and work on a real railroad. And travel around Russia, not to... After all those years in the underground, the air of the surface seemed incredibly fresh, intoxicating. But that was not what had caused the crew's euphoria. Our journey finally got a definite purpose provided by the transmission from the government bunker in the Urals. For 20 years, we thought that neither the government nor military high command had survived. Turns out they're still around. Where were they? while we were eating each other alive in the metro. We'll have a lot of questions for them once we reach Yamantau, if we reach it. The ruins of our country are under enemy control, according to Miller, and we'll have to fight through to our goal. 
A small team against the occupation armies? What are the chances that we'll succeed? That we'll get some answers? Anything off yet, darling? <laughs> Here, let's warm you up a little bit. So, what do you think our chances of getting to Yamantau alive are? It's the only thing on my father's mind. How to earn his forgiveness, get back to Metro and his old life, the life you had always been running from. And to think, I never believed you. And now I'm looking at this fog, thinking it could actually be hiding our new life from us. By the way, we should be approaching the bridge soon. Damn it! A campfire! People! There are people there! Hit the brakes! Four bogies on a trolley! Just some old farts. Old farts, huh? That's just the perimeter guard. They could have put anyone there, even women and children. Do you really think we found them, Colonel? Well, we can't be sure. I was expecting to run into them much earlier. The trolley is headed towards the bridge. Some fortifications there. This looks peaceful. A village and a church on the water. We need intel. Here, Artyom. I put a mark on your map. Get there and find out what you can about that breach. Taking a prisoner would be ideal. Anna, you cover him. Yes, sir. May I go with Artyom too? As backup? No. Until we figure out our situation, you are not to take a step away from the Aurora. These two can handle themselves just fine. Yermak, when can you get the Aurora, Aurora running again? Yeah, I don't know yet. I'm gonna check on that cylinder, but a full day at least. Let's go, Artyom. Get to it then. Spartans, let's prepare the Aurora for a defensive action. Okay, don't forget your backpack. It's a new model. A portable yes, workshop, so to speak. The manual is inside. Idiots, you give him cover from the Aurora. Yes, sir. Sam, and on your shirt, stay in reserve. Yes, sir. It doesn't come with crafting materials, though, so keep an eye out for those. Let's move out, Artyom. Just be careful out there. Sure thing. Well, I gotta say, a, that was one flimsy guys. roadblock. And those guys, well, they didn't look like army men at all. Just old men. Be careful out there. Remember, most of the country has been destroyed or occupied. Even <laughs> Something. Ah, that 
was grape. I took a look around while you were inside. That electric tower there looks like a perfect sniping position. Let's go. A boat. You won't have to go swimming after all. The locals probably get around mainly by boats. Here either. Silantius locked us up here a year ago. 
Yes, the bridge dwellers won't even talk to heretics. But I'll tell you everything I've seen Our in this place all that year. Arriving under the cover of fog. Oh, it's the bridge guard. Silencia has fooled them just like the locals. But unlike them, the bridge guard have guns. Run! There's a way out down here and there's a boat at the dock. We also have one, but it's too small for all of us. Our job is to get to the boat. by boat during the sermon. And then what? So he, he was there and then he kind of disappeared. And just like Father Celestia said, the man was sent by the devil. Yeah, I know. I know what Father said. Tell me if you saw Our, faith for a Artyom, I can't cover you when you're inside. I'm changing position to meet the woman and child. I know you can handle this just fine. So you have seen him? We can't even look at them. What demonic illusion is this? Bloodshed. They're bound to hate us even more now. Ah oh, well. Artyom, Katya, and Nastya are with me now. See you aboard the Aurora. Check the map. Looks like you can row straight to it from there.
What the fuck was that? A whale? It's fucking huge! The old man sent me out as a forward sentry, told me that I was to sit tight and under no circumstances look for any action. So I just had a front row seat watching you there. And so you subdue the occupation forces peacefully with a holy cross and a prayer. <laughs> Anna has already reported on the cult. How about we trade places? I'd hate to come back to Moscow without even firing once. I was trying to win a girl over from one trader. Tough luck there. Why does everybody else get fun missions? The colonel does criticize you and all, but he gives you all the best action. Is this his way of showing affection or trying to get you killed? But I have to say it's unfair. I've been dragged out of Moscow and for what? Stalking the furnace and sitting in a bog with a dumb spyglass. Here though we do have a chance of finding some loot. There is this plane there. Just leave something for me. I'll have to stay longer, I suspect. The shrimps are giving me trouble though. You're alive! <laughs> Impressive after the horrors Duke told us about. Let's go. Dad's talking to Katya right now. They are so nice. Both Katya and her daughter. And Katya's medical treatment. 